Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jonathan Borden, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I like to hold the double bass bow. This is something that I've worked a lot on with new students to the instrument, and I wanted to share with you some close-up looks at everything that I do to get my bow hold to look something a little bit more like this. Before I get into all of that, there are two things I should mention. The first being that this is how I like to hold a bow. And if you have a private teacher who advocates for you to do something differently than what you see in this video, you should always defer to them first. The second is that this is a video specific to the French bow, which looks like this and not like this. Okay, so let's get started. Learning how to hold the bow, it's all about learning where on the bow that you're gonna put each one of your fingers. And in order to do that effectively, it's gonna be really helpful for you to always start by holding the bow out in front of you like this with your other hand. Doing so allows you to kind of be more deliberate about where you put each one of your fingers, but really what it does is it allows you to put your fingers on the bow without having to also hold the weight of the bow at the same time. I see a lot of people do this, they try to, you know, uh, swing the bow around and get it in the right spot and by the time they play they've got some weird um, I don't know it's kind of gross you, you don't want this so if you're if you're new to this just always start by holding the bow in front of you and then putting your fingers in place now as to actually learning where your fingers go what I like to do is simplify things a little bit and divide the fingers of your right hand into three groups your thumb your middle two fingers and then your outer two fingers the thumb is the most complex part of all of this, so what I'm actually gonna do is put my base down, flip the camera around, and give you a closer look at what's involved in that. So, I'll see you over there. Okay, this is what it should look like if you're holding the bow in front of you with your other hand. Now, before I can tell you where your thumb goes, it's gonna be really helpful for me to first label what some of these parts of the bow are called. So, my hand's clearly shaking here. Let's give it a break, and I'm gonna freeze the frame. Ah, okay, much better. Now, up here, we have the stick of the bow this brown part. Down below it is the frog, this black piece there. And over here is the leather grip thing. I don't know, it's, we'll just call it that for now. Now your thumb goes right here. Let's unfreeze this and see what it looks like to actually put your thumb there. Simple enough, but this is an in-depth tutorial. So I wanna get a little more in detail and describe this to you in three different ways. The first is horizontally or where from left to right your thumb goes. The second is vertically, or how far up or down on the stick your thumb should go. And lastly is well, what part of your thumb is actually going on the bow. So let's start with the horizontal part. Notice where I put my thumb. It's on the stick itself. It's not on the leather grip, and it's not on the frog, but actually on the stick itself. So that's pretty straightforward. Let's go on to the vertical part. Take a look at your bow from this perspective, and you'll see that the stick isn't actually round, but divided into a number of flat surfaces. If you were to count around these flat surfaces, you'd see that it's actually octagonal or has eight sides. I like to use these sides to identify exactly how far down on the bow my thumb should go. And more specifically, what I like to do is put my thumb where number four is in this diagram. That means that it's not quite on the side of the bow or underneath it, but actually in between. Let's look at this from another angle. What I'm gonna do is slowly turn the bow around so you can see each side as I go until we get to number four. So that's the first, there's the second side, there's the third side, and right there is the fourth side. And that's where you wanna put your thumb. I wanna show you this from one more angle. As you can see here, what I've done is put my thumb in three different positions on the bow so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. On the left, I've got my thumb in the ideal position, whereas in the middle and on the right, I've got my thumb either too high on the stick or too low on the stick. Now let's go on to the third and final aspect of this, which is identifying what part of our thumb goes on the bow. So what I like to do is hold your thumb out in front of you like this, then turn it over a little bit and ask yourself, what part of my thumb is facing the ceiling? And as you can see, what I've done is I've pointed to it with my index finger. Take a look at how close I am to the tip of my thumb. I'm not all the way at the tip, but I'm kind of more close to where my fingernail ends. You don't wanna be closer to the knuckle of your thumb because you're gonna end up being too low on the stick when you go to place it. So let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna put it right in that spot that we've identified and just with this one last step, which is to bend your thumb as soon as you put it there. This is a pretty important step for helping to place the rest of your fingers, which is what we're gonna do next. But let's just really quickly review everything that we've gone over so far. The first thing we identified is that we want the thumb to go on the stick of the bow in between the leather grip and the frog. The second part was identifying how far down on the bow your thumb should go. 
which was not underneath it or on the side, but in between on that fourth side from the top. And the last part was identifying what part of your thumb goes on the stick and bending it as soon as you get there. So this is a shot of what it looks like when you put it all together. As you can see, I put my thumb on the bow first and here I'm turning it so that you can kind of see what it looks like when it's slotted in there. Okay, so yeah, I know that was a lot. Um, like I said earlier, the thumb is the most complex part of all of this, so the good news is that everything else after this is much simpler. Um, let's move on to our next group of fingers, which is our middle two fingers. We start by holding the bow out in front of us, and then we put our thumb on the stick, and then you drape your middle two fingers across from your thumb and over the stick. Now, this across from the thumb part is important. You don't want these to be like back here or all the way up here, but across from your thumb. And this is why it's important to have your thumb be bent. If I were to have my thumb be straight and then just put my middle two fingers across where they normally would fall, they wouldn't be across from the thumb, right? So in order to get them across from the thumb, what I actually do is I bring my thumb in like this. Then I drop these fingers down. I'll try to show you that again, and you can do it with me too over down okay there's one more thing we have to think about before we can move on and that's how far down on the stick that these two fingers go pay attention to these two knuckles here the ones that are second from your fingertips these go directly on top of the stick like this this makes it so that you always keep the same length over the stick all the time it should look just like this all right, so all we've got left is our outer two fingers, which is our last group of fingers. Now, these are the easiest ones to put on. You know, we've been so deliberate about putting our thumb and our middle two fingers on that all you gotta do with these two fingers is let them drop where they already are in a lot of ways. You wanna make sure that they're not, you know, too close or too far away from everything else, but just, you know, something natural. It should look something like this, which is great, but, you know, the challenge now at this point is what happens when you take your left hand off the bow. If you are new to this, chances are, you know, things will start slipping a little bit and that's totally normal. What you don't want to do is, you know, start playing with the bow grip that looks like this. Instead, you know, be deliberate, hold the bow out in front of you, thumb, middle, outer, and then you're good to go. So that's everything I've got for you. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments and um, I'll see you next time.